Well, a dirty old coal used to provide uh, lots of electricity in the UK, but today it's only 2%. The move away from fossil fuels is, of course, welcome. But in Somerset, they're worried people will forget the hard, brave work done by men at the coal face. So 50 years since the local mines closed, they're doing something about it, as Andy Howard reports. 1973, and the last tub of coal comes up from the North Somerset mines. The workers also emerged into the light that day in more ways than one, but left behind a way of life. Do you think you'll miss the pit? I should miss the men, certainly. And, I, and all the people that I've talked to that have gone out in the last few years, uh, it's the main um, bellyache with all of them. Uh, oh, we, you know, we'd have missed you a lot. Somerset Collieries employed 12,000 people at their peak, that number was closer to 400 by the end. And now those dark silhouetted figures are being remembered with something very similar. In Westfield, Chilcompton, Poulton, Timsbury, and yesterday, possibly the most famous former miner of the lot, Michael Levis, was here with others to unveil three in Radstock. It brings back lots of bad memories as well as good ones. Uh, the camaraderie was brilliant down there, obviously, but uh, the danger was always there. You could hear the roof cracking all the time. The dust, the smells. I would imagine that unless you actually worked in the pits or lived locally all your life, coming down over the hill, you look at the wheel and you think, what the hell is that? They won't not know. And the striking design might have something to do with that. I thought it was a bit of a celebration of um, finding the new coal vein, you know, and that's, that's, that was my inspiration anyway. We've done a lot of drawings to get to this stage, so we finally came up with this design and uh, that's what they've gone for. So, yeah, very pleased with this one anyway. There are now nine statues standing across North Somerset, with many more planned. I hope they achieve a recognition of what the miners went through. It's not a celebration. We, we, we don't want to celebrate those bad days, because they were bad days. Many of which would pass without the miners seeing daylight. A welcome contrast for those who now stand proudly in their place. Andy Howard, BBC Points West, in Radstock. It must have been such a, a hard life.